Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to set up the Prisma with the Next.js and the Postgres. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's create the, first of all, we are going to create the Next app. Okay, so let's go to the terminal. Okay, so first command would be like this. Let me change the node version. So NVM use 20 node version so let's paste this command right now let's create yes uh, no for the typescript yes lint yes css no source directory app router default okay after doing this it will give us the next app okay After this, we have to go with the CD My Prisma app. Go to that one. Okay. Next, we have to install the Prisma CLI and Prisma client. You need to install the Prisma CLI globally also. What it says? Please, uh, please uninstall the Prisma CLI first, then install Prisma to continue using Prisma. Then npm Prisma save dev. Okay, so you need to install the Prisma. Okay, because CLI already installed over it. Okay, so Prisma, we required. Then we require Prisma client. Okay, Prisma client. npmi prisma client so this is done let's move to the next step so we have to initiate the prisma so prisma npx maybe npx prisma init let's see so this is generated let's go to the code so it is there prisma with the schema Okay, so I'm using the Postgres. Let's go to the env also. So here we need to add our Postgres username. So username, I think Postgres. Password would be admin. And the scheme or database would be REST API. Okay, let's try to save this. Let's define the schema over here. So this is the schema that I want over here. So let's copy this user schema. Okay, so here we go with the schema dot press. Let's paste this. Okay, this is done. Moving to this next step, we have to create the REST API for that one. So first of all, npx prisma generate. Okay, and let's see the database also and the runtime pg admin. So here we have the server, we have a test. And here, if we go down, here we have the REST API, right? So here we have already the users, but ID, username, and email. But currently in the schema, we have mentioned the name and the email. Let's go and check this one. Let's paste this command, npx prisma generate. Okay, this is the first command. Next, we have to write the migration file we have to create. So let's add it. So it will give you the warning, I think. All data will be lost, you can see. So I need to just run this one and uh, done with the migrations. Okay, done. Let's go to the here and here you can see if I just refresh this one. Where is refresh? Now you can see the columns. Here, if I just refresh this. But here the database is connected, I suppose. Okay, let's go and create some of the users and then we get to know about this one. Okay, so here we go with MySQL. I think there should be a table. Give me a second. Refresh and then 
we come with the tables then you can see the users then we have a columns you can see the id name and the email right so this is created with that means we are connected with the prisma with the postgres sql right okay so this is this part is done after this let's create a small api over it okay so we get to know about that the functionality is working so i have already done with the api part so where it is this is that one so i need to add this one response into the server side so let's create in the app folder we have to go with the file name api so this is not file name delete this one trash let's go and create a new folder name api and then in api we are going to make a new folder with the uh, users and in the users we are going to add a new file that is routes.js okay and let's paste this code over here okay so let's check this this is working or not npm run dev npm run start what it says no such file that no no i think somewhere i missed something i don't think so and so uh, let's check the package json npm run dev okay development server is started let's go to the postman and check here we have it's on the 3000 port let's copy this one okay and we have the api then users then we have a routes right so let's try to send this and it's showing the next day that is not from give me a second api the end point would be api users api users okay this is i think the post api mention right so make it the get request okay let's try to send again okay so here we go with this one done let's try to send again again it's showing not found get request api users is there something we missed let me check this one we have made a one mistake here that means here it's not routes it's gonna be route.js according to the documentation right so i just mix with the routes it's route.js okay api user route.js so here we have make a simple api function right so let's check this one let's go and just make it restart the server and let's go and check this one i think it should work right now okay that means the api part is working right moving to the next let's add the code over here so here we go with this one let's fetch with the let's create some data over it like over here so make it a post request and let's try to send this one so let's go and just add some of the data then we come with then we can confirm that the everything is working fine okay so here we go with this one make a post request right so here we are going to make this request over here okay there or we can make a static part over here like prisma so here we are adding the name would be rajnikant and let's make another one that is email with this email test 90 at the rate millimeter dot com okay let's try to make this what it says object create object any something i think data is a object right so let's make a send of the risk because here we are sending the name and the email so let's make it let name is equal to 
Rajnikant and let's make this name is already defined I know comment this make another one let email email or const you can make this and here would be the email would be test 90 at the rate millinator.com com this is done I think everything error goes right and after this we have to make a return response over here so there is already the response we have added just give me a second so this is the response that we have to return okay so let's copy this response okay so we will return this one this message would be the this make a return of the data okay so data so let's put the data equals to this one new user okay let's see where the data is gonna be printing let's restart this one okay let's try to create this make a post request over here and let's try to send and it says 500 what happened prisma is not defined prisma is not defined oh yes prisma should be there right so i forgot this one prisma client import the prisma client over here then we have to go with the const prisma okay so let's add this one prisma over here now let's try to run this done let's try to send the record message to uh, status means 200 is there let's have a look that the data has been inserted or not okay uh, then we will go, go with the full fetch card operations okay so here let's go and view and edit this part that means database connectivity is totally done okay so this is how we are able to set up the postgresql with the nest js and the prismo any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section we are going to make a new video again with the crud rest operations with the rest api right so where we are going to perform the operations like crud update delete create and get all the informations okay so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video the next video would be the mysql so how to set up the next years with the mysql and the prisma thank you so much have a great day